me just give you the answer now. 12. That's it. You don't need to watch anymore. But let me tell you that a Thanatos only costs four times as much. And maybe you're interested in other units like the Sniper and wonder if Titans are really worth the money and how Lucifers and Rangers fit in. There's actually enough data to cover that I'm only going over units in this video. The next one looks at buildings. The best way to find these videos later is to hit that subscribe button now. When playing a game like they are billions, it helps to understand the relative advantage and cost of each troop. Titans look really powerful, but they're hella expensive. And comparing costs is a pain because units cost gold and wood and iron and then have upkeep costs. Maybe you're thinking it should be easy. Let's just take all the units and shove it in a spreadsheet and convert everything to gold, right? But it's not that easy. It's a technical problem and I'll cover that in a third video. For now, I just let the numbers be and ignore some of the complications. First up, the three basic units. Rangers are by far the cheapest unit. They don't consume food to recruit, just a worker, and their salary is low. But they're pretty wimpy, right? Yet they're more than twice as powerful when they're veterans. In addition to shooting faster, they also do a little more damage, and that normally means they can kill a walker in three shots instead of four. They're nearly three times as effective as normal rangers, which is about where soldiers are. Soldiers cost almost three times as much as rangers. My math says 2.78 times. They shoot twice as fast and do a bit more damage, yet they still have the same problem where walkers have an odd amount of hit points, but in this case it works against the soldier. It takes them three shots to kill a walker instead of the ranger's four. Veteran soldiers do, uh, well it's 66% more damage and shoot 25% faster. It, it comes out to be 2.08 times better than normal soldiers. They kill walkers in two shots instead of three, and they can kill executives in four shots instead of six. In practice, that's 1.875 times better than normal soldiers. Against a swarm of walkers and runners, veteran soldiers come out about 10% less cost effective than veteran rangers, and they move slower. Their advantage is more hit points and more firepower packed into a single unit. Snipers are about four times more expensive than rangers, do way more damage in a single shot, but fire much lower, and absolutely crawl their way across the map. Sure, they're mobile, but not fast enough to get from one side of your base to the other in the 8 hour window you have of swarm warning. Against early waves, they're a waste of money. Against buildings, they're about 13% more cost effective than rangers, which really is negligible. But again, they pack that power into a smaller form factor. Veteran snipers are 122% more effective than normal snipers. That's more than twice. The big advantage is the faster fire rate, which means they're more likely to kill a harpy before it gets close enough to do damage. They're most cost effective against big targets like buildings and chubbies, but horrid against small targets. Make sure you set them to target highest level first, and that's where they're most effective. Lucifers are great short range units. They've got tons of hit points and regenerate them pretty fast. Against swarms, they are by far the most cost effective unit in the game. Their primary downside is that they need to be in the thick of it. They can't hide behind a wall or ensconced in a tower. Thanatos costs almost exactly the same as a Lucifer, however their attack is long range. They fire very slowly, which can make a disagreement between the game's firing logic and yours sometimes very frustrating. And they don't kill units as quickly as the Lucifer does. Their advantage is hiding behind walls, which means they're much less likely to get their brains eaten. This is one of the really cool things about the game. These two units cost the same, but it's up to you and your strategy to decide which to use. Before I get to the Titan, I want to mention that I've got another video coming up in which I'll talk about ballistas, executors, and shocking towers, as well as the relative value of the different buildings. Plus, a geeky video talking just about the numbers. Subscribe and click the bell to be notified of when those get uploaded. The big gun in the Billions universe is the Titan. By far the most expensive unit in the game, it can put out insane damage against the Swarm. Yet how's the math work out? Against the Swarm is where it shines. It cleans them up much faster than a Lucifer, and in cost-effectiveness is between the Lucifer and the Thanatos. 
All three of the advanced units are more cost-effective against swarms than any veteran unit, although all three are less cost-effective for clearing out the map or taking down buildings. The Titan is ranged and moves pretty quick, so you can put him where you need him and then, if circumstances change, move him or even better, use him to protect multiple zones. In the next video, I'll look at how many snipers a ballista is worth, and after that I'll give you a closer look at how I come up with a single cost number for each unit. Watch those gaps, and I'll see you next time.